Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder Series. We're glad you're here. Hey everyone, today we're going to walk through how to take data and processing logic that's locked up in Excel and use the Databricks platform to get to the data intelligence you need quickly, reliably, and in a cost-efficient way. So Databricks is a data intelligence platform that empowers every user, whether you are an analyst, an engineer, or a business stakeholder, to discover insights from your data. And in this demo, we are going to take some spreadsheets containing orders and customer's data, load them into Databricks, explore and process them using business logic that's important to my business, and land the clean data into a table that I can use for BI reporting, dashboarding, or even interactive Q&A, where I can ask the data questions in English and get answers on how my business is performing. So the theme that you will see is that the platform really extends beyond the limits of Excel right? and lets us build reusable processing logic. So we only have to build once and can apply it consistently to future data and get super fast processing or analysis speeds for even tens of millions of rows, have confidence in the output because we can easily trace how data has been processed and what changes were made by whom or when. And very importantly, all of that leads to much, much reduced manual human effort and potential error rate by letting the platform take over the maintenance and optimizations and all that operational toil. All right. And the best part, we're going to try to do all this in 15 minutes or less. So let's get started. So here are, are my spreadsheets containing some orders and some customers data. And my goal here is to get to a view where I can see how the order volume and amounts are trending for each customer and also understand who my high value customers are to inform our marketing campaigns. I want to format everything nicely, of course, and do this analysis every day or every hour or in the future, even in real time. So if I'm doing this analysis in a spreadsheet, I will probably have a bunch of conditional logic, uh, some summations, index functions, pivots, and file merges to combine the data sources, right? And to do this manually every day takes a lot of time, can get slow as data size grows, and can be very error prone. And maintaining the history and making multiple copies to share out to different folks is also a hassle. So let's see how we solve that with Databricks. All right, to start off, let's load the data in. So this is a Databricks UI, fully web-based, and we are in the data ingestion section. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So there are a lot of, there's a lot of options to uh, get my data. So it can be from my cloud storage, OneDrive, SaaS providers, or local uploads. Um, and I have the files on my desktop. So let's upload it that way um, with the create table from file option here. So what it's going to do is that it's gonna let me browse my desktop. Let me select the file that I want to upload. And it's going to infer um, the data types right, uh, for my columns by looking at the data. And it's going to create a table from it so I can use it in other parts of the Databricks platform. And we see it gives us a nice preview of what's in the file as well. And I will uh, click create table to proceed to create this table called churn orders bronze. And I will load my other spreadsheet churn users bronze in the same way. All right, so I've already preloaded the data and then I can browse them in the data catalog, catalog right here. And we'll talk more about the cool stuff like the permissions, lineage, history, et cetera, later on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to explore the data a little bit and process them using a Databricks notebook. So if you're not familiar with notebooks, no problem. It's just a nice organized way to interact with our data and build some code for processing. So if you have written VBA scripts before for Excel, it's a similar idea to the VBA editor, just more robust, right? So now question is, how would I translate my Excel formulas or VBA scripts to something that works here, right? So no worries, SQL, it's a very popular data processing language and supported on Databricks. So let's use that. And then I'm not a coder. And I really don't know much, much SQL at all. So no problem either, right? So what we can do 
is we can pop out the Databricks Assistant to help us write the relevant SQL code. And all I all that I would need to do is to be able to describe the, the logic with which to interact with my data. So here is a super simple example, right, to start with. I just want to see what's in the churn order sprouts table that was created from my file upload a minute ago. So I would simply say to the assistant, hey, I want to browse the data and it's going to return the appropriate SQL code to do so. And I copy that in, I click on this play button to run and there are the results, okay? So what else? I might want to um, I might want to know the total order amount by user. So in Excel, I might do a pivot on this or perhaps uh, some if, right? So we can describe the logic again to the system and let it write the code for us and then run it, right? And that's it, where we have the total order amount for each user. Now we can continue to iterate through um, and making our results more human readable and get to ad hoc insights this way directly in the notebook. And again, all that we would need to focus on is thinking through and describing the data processing logic based on business logic that is most important to my business and let the assistant uh, do the rest, right? And if we ever get stuck, we can share this notebook with our technical team and um, or, and we can also add comments here on where we may need more help, okay? So this additional, uh, this ad hoc uh, exploration is great, right? Then the question becomes, hey, how do we combine everything together? Persist the results and also persist the logic so they can be used for future data that will come in. So we're gonna do that right now. So I have a sense of what's in my tables. I am ready to describe the overall processing logic. So there are a few things I want to do. Um, I want to pull only the most informative columns for my purposes. I want to format the numbers nicely. I want to get the order date only, and I want to flag the high value customers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to describe that again to uh, the assistant and um, then let it give me some sample code to use. All right, so I copy that code in and I run it. You know what, hey, I ran into an error. So uh, not a problem, As the assistant can also help with error fixing, right? So uh, we see here, asked it, hey, how do I fix my code based on the error that I just got? So it's gonna look at the error that I got and suggest a solution right here. All right, so I'm copying that in uh, right here and I ran it and it worked out great, all right? So one more thing that I may that I want to do is I want to combine the data in that churn orders table with data from the churn uh, users table so I can grab the email addresses to inform my marketing campaigns for high value customers and also want to land the final output in a cleaned table. So I described that, uh, well, what I just said uh, to the assistant and it returned the code for me to do so. And I ran it and that is it, right? And also one thing to note is how fast really everything, everything runs even with these large data sets I have and the multiple logics um, that I'm running through. So uh, you can see mostly sub-second queries or just uh, sub-second queries or even in just uh, in, in a few seconds, All right? All right, so now you might be wondering, you know, the system is great and all, and I know I can collaborate with my technical team directly on the platform if I ever get stuck, but I don't want, want to worry about the code at all. Is there an even easier way? So yes, here it is. So here is the easy button with Prophecy, who is a Databricks partner that provides a low code, no code front end layer where you can drag and drop uh, little packets of logic called gems to build your overall processing logic. So what I'm showing here is a prophecy interface. It's connected directly to my Databricks environment. So it knows where my data is and it will send the logic to Databricks to run after the logic is built. So we can see that um, a prophecy lets us define where our data is coming from. 
with the source configuration. So it can be, you know, a Databricks table, or I can upload new data, which will become Databricks tables. And then to build the logic, logic itself, I have multiple options to choose from, right? So say I want to calculate the average tenure of a customer account. Instead of writing out lines of code, I can pick the reformat uh, logic here and specify the formula I want to use um, on, on, on which columns. And then say if I want to merge or join multiple tables, I can pick the join logic and say what I want the two tables to match on when joining and also what the resulting joint table should have in terms of columns, right? And then what's going to happen is that um, a prophecy will generate the code in the back end automatically and send that to Databricks to run, okay? So let's hop back to Databricks, knowing that we have multiple options to build the processing logic. And now, I need the outputs regularly, right? Like we talked about, and it would be a burden to manually run things. So I want Databricks to run the processing on a regular cadence for new data that's coming in. And we have multiple options there too. So I can schedule this notebook and um, I schedule and tell, and tell it when to run. Could be on, on, a, on a particular cadence, could be daily, hourly, or something else. And then, uh, and then say deliver results to me directly, and I will be able to see the history of each run. Or I can use a, um, a pipeline tool like DLT or Delta Live Tables to automate that entire end to end processing with optimizations, right? So, a, a few options there to, to make things easier. All right. So, from here, I have a cleaned table. What more can I do with it? All right. So I can certainly do more ad hoc analysis or apply additional logic to enrich it even further. I can also deliver the insights in a visual format, right? Like dashboards and share that out while locking down access to the tables themselves. So what we see here, and what's cool about this is that this dashboard incorporates um, insights or incorporates outputs from a machine learning model that predicts the likelihood for a customer or user to churn um, so I can adjust my marketing strategy accordingly. Um, I'm skipping over how to do machine learning on Databricks today, but as your business needs grow and say you want to do forecasting right, on something like tax obligations with some modeling, Databricks can help you do that as well. Okay, so one last piece I want to show is the security and the automated uh, operations aspect on the data. So one thing that I hear a lot from um, Excel users is the pain of maintaining different copies of data and not knowing where things are used by whom and in what way, right? So this is where the lineage view can help us out here. So I'm uh, looking at the churn orders bronze table. Remember, that's my source table. And um, I can see where it is used. Right. So I used it um, to build my cleaned cleaned table, and it is, sh it is shown here. Same thing for notebooks. Um, I used it in, uh, in, in three notebooks, and that's going to be shown here as well. Dashboards, same idea. Oh, looks like it's not uh, used in any dashboards. Um, and if it's used, if it's uh, using a pipeline or if it's coming from a pipeline, that's going to that's going to be shown here as well. All right. And if I pop out the lineage graph, I can see uh, just kind of end to end to hit end to end to end history for this table. All right. And next is permissions, right? So to make sure only authorized people can access the data, I can assign permissions and use audit logs to understand who accessed what, when, right? All right, last part, the super fun part that we'll wrap up with. So say if I have an executive stakeholder, they want to interact with the data beyond the template reports or the dashboards, data rooms will let them do exactly that in a Q&A format.
my team can just configure the rooms um, to say what tables the answers should be based on and it's add some instructions for my stakeholders if needed. So we can ask the room to explain the data set to us and we can also ask it generally some good questions that we might want to ask, right? So it's gonna take a minute to think and then what, oh, there it is. So see, it popped out, you know, five questions here on what we might ask the data based on what um, what it is seeing in the, in the data itself. So let's ask one. So I'm gonna say, hey, can you show the order total uh, over time, right? So we're gonna pop that in. It's gonna take a minute to think. And what we're gonna get is a uh, essentially the output table, right? That's gonna show the results um, of the total order amount for each day, okay? And um, and that's it. We can also play around with the visualizations, right, to make it more compelling. So to recap, in this demo, we showed how to take Excel data and processing logic to run on an advanced data intelligence platform like Databricks so the logic is reusable, the results are trusted, processing is speedy, access is secure, all with much lowered manual effort and cost. And we did that in less than 15 minutes.